Rashad Ritchie is a junk news junkie. In case you don't know him, Rashad Ritchie is the master race baiter on The Young Turks, hosting his own show, Indisputable, that does all it can to stoke the fires of racial hatred. I would venture to say that the people of our country would be getting along a lot better and the hopes and futures of minorities would be a lot brighter if people like Rashad Ritchie would come down with serious cases of lockjaw. In this episode, he takes aim at a manager of a hotel whose only crime was being white. Being at a hotel and the person at the front desk decides to basically, hey, I got to call the cops on you because I don't recognize you. What? It's no way in hell you know everybody that's in this hotel. That's exactly what happened. Here it is. That is not at all what happened. Today, we're going to see what happened. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With cold, blunt analysis cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's time for the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Excuse me? Are you a guest? Am I a guest? Yes. Why? What's the... Notice that the camera is already rolling when the manager comes out, this person behind the camera, whose name is Martavius Johnson, was already and primed to stoke trouble here. That's what this was about. This was not a surprise encounter with the hotel manager. This was planned. Problem. You're not allowed to be here if you're not a guest. I'm not allowed to be here if I'm not a guest? No, you have to get a room. I have to get a room? Yes. Okay. Do I not look like a guest? No, I don't. I don't? Okay, a couple of things. First, the hotel manager says, are you a guest? Martavia refuses to answer the question. Now, what would we do? I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but if I walk in off the street into a hotel room and I go to the free meal section and the manager says, hey, uh, are you a guest here? I'm going to tell him, yes. My name is... Johnny Walker Dread, and I'm in room 666. Whatever. Because unlike Martavia, I'm not looking for trouble. I want to have my free meal in peace. And the best way to have your meal in peace is to not antagonize people. But then again, I'm not going to make any money on TikTok doing that. And that's what this is really all about. Okay. She says... I have to get a room? Yes. Okay. Do I not look like a guest? No, I don't. I don't? I haven't seen you. Okay. She says she hasn't seen me today. So, what shift did you come in on? 11 to 7. 11. Okay, so now the interrogation of the hotel manager commences. The hotel manager is not on trial here. She hasn't seen you. You came in off the street. She's perfectly entitled to ask you simply, are you a guest? And I wonder why. Well, it's a common problem in a lot of bigger cities that homeless people will come in off the street and just start helping themselves to the food that has been dispensed for guests to eat. It's a real serious problem. And so hotel managers often ask people, are you guests? especially if they look homeless. In the seven, um, normally, primarily, what time do people go to sleep? Uh, pretty early sometimes. Pretty early sometimes. Well, it's about six o'clock in the morning now, right? Yes. Okay, so what do guests primarily look like when they come down to have breakfast? But I'm just trying to figure out what do guests look like? Do I, do I not look like a guest? You could be. I could be, but it was just two gentlemen that were just here and they just left they out. They came off the elevator. They did. They came off the elevator. And where did you see me come from? The front door. The front door. Okay, so there's no chance I could have just got out of my car or maybe just... He was hoping that the hotel manager would say, well, I don't know where you came from. But the hotel manager says, no, I saw you come through the front door. In other words, off the street. Guests coming off the elevator are less of a problem it's much more unlikely that they would not be guests if they were coming off the elevator to go to the free meal section of the hotel. 
But then again, we're talking sensible here. And Rashad Ritchie has no interest in being sensible. Game from work. I'm just asking you. Yeah. But do you ask everybody if they're a guest? Sometimes. Okay, well, I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to see if you're going to ask everybody if they're a guest. Concerned the fact that. I need to know your name. What, what you do don't you need to. At this point, I would throw her out. She says, oh, I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to watch you work and make sure that you ask every guest, hey, you're out. I don't need that as a hotel manager. This is called a really bad attitude. She asked you if you were a guest. You could have simply told her yes, and this problem would have disappeared. But no, you have to be a real asshole about it. And at that point, I don't think I want assholes in my hotel. I know my name. I need to know if you ask everybody their name when they come down off the elevator or when they come out that door. She wants to know your name so that she can check to see if you're a hotel guest. Don't be such a jerk about it. That's what I would like to know. That's what I would like to know. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and fix me a bowl of cereal. So in other words, I'm just going to eat anyway. Screw you. Again, I think she needs to be tossed at this point. It doesn't matter if she's a guest or not. You asked her if she was a guest, she refuses to tell you, then she gives you an attitude, throw her out. And we're going to see how this play out. There's more actually, put up the picture full of mass. Now, the black woman, her name is Mart Martavia on the left. Martavia Johnson. She is a well-known TikTok scam artist. She's homeless and often films herself sleeping in the street to garner money for hotel stays and transportation. She is an actual guest at the hotel that was paid for by her donors. Furthermore, she's been arrested in several states. Notice on the upper left, it says TikTok and her handle, Crack Cocaine Chronicles. It turns out that they've been talking about her on Reddit. It says... Martavia Johnson is well known on TikTok from a viral video of a hotel situation and also her room door being kicked in from where she was living at one point by the person who allegedly owns the home, as well as to her being thrown out by the housing authority in Houston, Texas. She's now homeless and relies on her followers to fund her hotel room and transportation. There she is on the right. The same person on the right asking y'all to send her $650 is the same person on the left chilling in bed. People in the front stop donating. She needs $650 but been spending money. The goal was $1,000. Now she needs $650. We know she's been buying tons of ice and water with donations raised, as well as her going out to restaurants, renting a scooter, hotel rooms, etc. When is enough a enough for y'all to see she is misusing your donations and continues to reset the clock? And by resetting the clock, I assume what they're talking about is the deadline to raise the money. I'm not sure. You are donating money to a woman who tried to run her ex over, scratched his car up with a knife, and completely went crazy. That's what you are donating to, also known as the $1,000 court fee. Now, I'm just reading Reddit, okay? I'm not speaking to the veracity of what we are talking about here. It could be false, but it seems like a lot of people know about her. Crack, living, I guess that's her name, Crack, living her best life on y'all dime. Another restaurant, buggy ride, all while y'all work, watch her from home, and send her money. Y'all got to wake up. And I guess that's her on a scooter. Crack is going hard for those $34 with 17 bottles of water left. She'll finesse them like she always does. So evidently, she begs for money to buy water, which she then sells on the street. So I'll post this link in the description below if you want to read the entire thread. Here is her mugshot from one of her many arrests. She claims she was racially profiled by a hotel employee on the right at the Avid Hotel in Austin, Texas. The confrontation was posted on her TikTok late last month. 
garnering over a million views. In a 10 minute long video, the avid hotel employee approached Martavia in the breakfast area and asked if she was a guest. Atlanta Black Star notes, according to its website, Avid offers free breakfast to all of its guests. That's right, but you have to be a guest, and if they see somebody that they think is not a guest, they are perfectly entitled to ask them if they are. Okay, the front desk employee then proceeded to call the police. Here it is. What room are you in? What difference does it make what room I'm in? because she's going to look up to see if you're a guest. Call the, call the police, please call the police. Please, I'm begging you to call the police. Well, wait, I thought that calling the police on a black person was like attempted murder. What happened to that argument? In fact, Rashad has told us himself that calling the police on a black person is just asking for them to come out and shoot them. It's dangerous. So you see, they don't even believe it themselves. It's just a ploy. Yes, I have a guest here, and I don't know if she's a guest or not. She won't answer me, but she's causing a scene down in the lobby, and I need a place. By the way, this seems like a really nice lady. I mean, she didn't ask for this. Black. Yeah, I'm black. What's your race? How old are you? I don't know. How do I look? She looks about 32. Notice that the police are asking her to identify so that when they arrive, they know who the problem person is. And so she's answering questions. They asked her, what race? She says black. What's her age? And Martavia is taking it as a personal affront. I, I don't know. I, it sounds like mental health. I don't... Mental health? Oh, wow. Kelly? Kelly. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Jose said breakfast isn't open yet. He thinks you're a guest. Who? Jose. I don't know who Jose is. Well, why don't you ask him who he is? Breakfast isn't open yet. Okay, but it was two other people that came down and got breakfast, so now Everybody breakfast is not open. Breakfast. Somebody did eat breakfast. breakfast. You have plenty of items out. I can't come downstairs in the lobby? came in from outside. I came in from outside? Yes. Okay. That's fine. The, but the police is coming, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'll wait till the police get here. There's actually more. Now, the insanity of this, obviously, is evident, right? She calls the police and says, I have a guest here. Well, I don't know if they're a guest or not. And then she proceeds to... That's right. She doesn't know whether they're a guest or not. Why does she not know? Because the lady wouldn't answer her question. Dumbass. Provide evidence of the person not being a guest because they're able to walk. I don't understand. Because a guest is able to walk, meaning walk in and out of the hotel if they choose. That's the reason you believe this person is not a guest. No, it was because she walked in from the outside. I mean, this man is just plain stupid. We all heard it. She has told the woman a couple of times that the reason why we're asking you is because you walked in from the outside. The guys who came in down the elevator also walked. Walking is not the issue. The issue here was that they came down the elevator, which means they probably have rooms in the hotel. I cannot understand how this guy could be so dim-witted. Actually, I think I know. I think he knows that this is a scam. He doesn't care. Any opportunity to stir up trouble, he will take it every time. At the hotel, because they walk in. All right, before, from the outside. For being confronted by the employee, Martavia was recording herself taking a stroll outside of the hotel before rain started to fall, prompting her to go inside. She decided to indulge in some cold breakfast items while the hot breakfast was still being prepared. Martavia noted in the video that she had booked the room with Intercontinental Hotels Group Points, according to the woman's GoFundMe account. She had been displaced from her home due to domestic violence issues. So she was displaced from her own home? Hmm, how does that happen? And 
it was due to domestic violence issues and somebody on Reddit said that she had tried to run her ex-husband over. Um, don't know for sure, but this would be something you'd want to investigate before you put it in print. But this is the Atlanta Black Star. It is absolutely one of the most horrid newspapers in the country. Uh, Marteva also explained in the video why she felt profiled. Here it is. As of right now, I feel racially profiled. Why? Due to the fact because it was two other gentlemen that were lighter than I, and she did not question them at all whatsoever about their reasoning for being in this area. She told you, you came in from the street, they came down through the elevator. Think. And by the way, She's wearing a hoodie and dark sunglasses. So she went out of her way to look as suspicious as possible and had her camera running already when the hotel manager came up. This was a setup. I'm taking something simple as um, fruit. Um, I was discriminated. I was discriminated. This, this was discrimination. But it's fine. We're going to wait till the police get here. Yep. So while waiting for the police to arrive, uh, Martavia started eating a bowl of cereal while the employee continued to make phone calls. The employee proceeded to ask the woman over and over if she was a guest, but Martavia uh, fended off the question and instead said she would wait for the police to arrive. And all well, why not answer the question? <laughs> why not answer the question? Why go through all this? If she had answered the question, given the lady her room number, because she actually was a guest there, none of this would have happened. And we could have all gotten along a lot better. But you see, Rashad Ritchie is not about us getting along better. Not at all. Officer did show up uh, to make a report, but the hotel manager, Jose, tells the uh, hotel would not extend her stay. Here it is. Police is now coming. She doesn't seem to be too scared of the police for some reason. I'm recording for the record. Okay. So she's the one that called. Do you want to ask her what's going on first before you talk to me? I'll ask her. We'll talk to her. Okay. What happened? So, time is now 6.25. One manager tried to say, oh, well, breakfast isn't open. Hey, what happened? What happened to your explanation to the police about what happened? That was, for some reason, edited out. And you know why it was edited out. I can tell you what happened. The police officer asked her, well, why didn't you just tell the hotel manager whether you were a guest or not? And he probably scolded the living hell out of her. Why did you do this? I could be out there fighting crime doing investigations and stuff. And instead, I have to come to this hotel to settle a case here that was completely avoidable. Why didn't you tell her? I haven't got time for this shit. But she added it all out. You got guys that's still coming down, and everybody's still coming down, and they're eating. Right, I'm gonna call them too, but I'm just saying, like, who is, who's above you? Everybody have a boss. So. No, I'm saying, like, who's your boss? Like, do you all have a district? I'm not going to give you that information. You're not. Okay, I'll be sticking with you today. Okay, that's fine. I'll just reach out and I'll just talk to who I need to talk to. I'll reach out to our AGL. That's fine. I'm going to talk to them as well. And just, you won't be able to extend my stay because of what? On what grounds? We won't be able to extend your stay. On what grounds? I'm not giving authority to report Okay. I couldn't quite make out what he was saying, but she kept saying, on what grounds? Um, this is not court. You're a troublemaker. That's why we're throwing you out. You could have settled this real easily, but instead you decided to make trouble. You're gone. I don't have time to put up with this crap. So, on what grounds? On what grounds? Okay, no worries. He said he won't be able to extend my stay. I most definitely will be filing a complaint. We should all file a complaint, at least in the parameters of our mind, about patronizing this establishment. What did the establishment do wrong? 
I can't believe this dude. Martavia filed a complaint with IHG, the hotel company, and was instructed to speak to Jose again. She claimed the manager said the employee questioned her presence because she did not recognize her, pointing out that Martavia was wearing a hoodie. Oh my yeah. God, a hoodie. Yeah. Perfectly legal piece of garment? Yeah, so is a ski mask. But if I go into a bank wearing a ski mask, it's going to probably raise some attention. They're going to probably come over and try to find out if I have a legitimate reason to be there. The legality of the clothing is not an issue here. She was wearing a hoodie and dark sunglasses and came in off the street. Jesus Christ, you can't make yourself look more homeless if you tried. She certainly did not look like a guest, but the lady who came down, the manager, didn't accuse her of anything. She just simply asked, are you a guest? She probably asked lots of people that question. It was Martavia who made a mountain out of a molehill here. Atlanta Black Star reached out to IHG for comment. Uh, put him up for a mask. What's the point of this? Really? Why put the picture of the IHG president here? He wasn't there. He didn't have anything to do with it. I'll tell you why he puts the picture there. This is all for his minions, hoping that one of them spots him in public. IHG is overseen by CEO Ellie Malouf. Their site notes most hotels are independently owned and operated. Um, so you got some explaining to do and some correcting to engage in. Um, so this is a very simple um, dynamic that... Simple dynamic? Yeah, it was a very simple dynamic. The dynamic was, I asked person if they are guests, the person comes back and says yes or no. That was as simple as you could get. It became more complex because of the bias of the worker, in my opinion. Once it was established um, by police and or Jose that the individual was in fact a guest, why is it that you all did not roll out the red guest carpet? Oh, in other words, cave in to the extortion. That's what this was all about. You see, he's telling his minions, hey, if you go in and you cause trouble, you might get free things. You might get free hotels and free food. So he's telling his followers how to do this. The hotel doesn't owe that idiot a dime. She was the troublemaker, not the hotel. Why did that not happen? Why did we not hear a profuse apology? I am so sorry. We made a mistake. Please forgive us. May we offer you a free night? In other words, may we give in to the scam? That's what this was all about. So go into establishment, become a troublemaker, accuse them of being racist, get free things. That's the plan. And he's telling his people that's what you need to do. Anything that would have at least indicated that your attempt to verify if she was actually a guest was in good faith. Because once you did verify that, everything should have changed if that was the actual issue. But if the issue is something else, once you verified she was a guest, you then decided to not allow her to extend her stay. Smart move on the part of the hotel. Get her out of there. The next person on the next shift will have to endure the same thing because this lady is just going to keep doing it so that she can get free things. All right. Hell of a thing. We'll bring you updates. Sharing thoughts here. Oh, no. Oh, God. If you thought that Rashad was dumb, hang tight. Uh I, I guess the other side would say this whole thing could have been avoided had Martavia just shown them her freed slave papers. Her free slave papers, that's right. Because if you are asked if you're a hotel guest and you say yes or no, well, you're being a slave. <laughs> Think about that. Hi, I'm the most local person in here. That's, That's what they were asking I, for. I've never made a citizen's arrest or attempted to detain someone and ask the accused perp for their age, their name, uh, room number. It was 
Daff, Dippy, and honestly, Doc, there's two Karens, obviously, in the footage yeah. there. Jose's a Karen, so is Kelly. And I wrote it all down, the Avid Hotel, Austin, Intercontinental. I'm going to make a complaint. I've seen what I've seen. That's I don't right. know that it'll get anywhere, but this is Looney. Pull the franchise license if it is independently owned. Pull the franchise's license for that? <laughs> so essentially, you'd be telling a hotel that they could never ask a hotel guest if they are a guest to see if they're entitled to the free food. That means that anybody off the street can go in and just help themselves. You're saying that that's the way it should be. And you're also saying that it's a preferable behavior to not tell the hotel manager and cause a scene, force the police to have to show up rather than just simply saying yes or no. This right. is lunacy. And don't That's forget right. the part where she said she was making a disturbance. No, Kelly, that that was you. Right. And Kelly's not not ready for the public either. I'm not even talking about the racist <laughs> part. Uh, th this is like a SNL skit. Are we I'm sorry. That is insulting as hell. To sit there and point at her head and say that, well, she wasn't ready for the public. This hotel manager did nothing wrong. The hotel manager followed policy. You have somebody coming in off the street. They don't look like a guest. It is perfectly okay to ask them if they are a guest. And if the person acts belligerent, which this person did, it is perfectly acceptable to call the police. And of course, Rashad is laughing at that. This is the reason why I say... These are truly despicable people that you see on the screen. Now, if they had an all-black hotel managed and owned by black people, and I came in wearing sunglasses and a hoodie, and, you know, I got, let's suppose I even do it up even better. I got some torn jeans and stuff, and I got, you know, the gloves with no fingers on them. And I walk in, and I just start helping myself to a bunch of food. I wonder what they would say. You know damn well they would come up and say, hey, do you belong here? And I would say, hey, go, man, go f*** yourselves. I can eat whatever I want. Well, we're going to have to call the police. Racism, racism. How would they feel if that happened to them? We sure it, it really happened? was. It's real, right? It's, it's actually real. And yeah. here's another remedy that was very simple. Uh, they have access to the hotel camera, and they're wow. able to rewind and fast forward, et cetera. Uh, if you did not know if this individual was a guest or not, you can easily go to the footage and clearly see that her origin, meaning what she was walking, did not start from outside, but started from inside the hotel. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a lot easier than simply having the hotel guest say yes or no to a simple question. It's much easier to go in, pull down your videotape footage, and spend 20 minutes sit there staring at the screen to find out if this person left the hotel early or not. In his mind, that's a lot easier. They don't owe it to her to do that. Okay, I'm really, really pissed off at this dude, so I'm sorry. Like my video, subscribe to my channel.